show you how to make these chocolate peanut butter haystacks. Now this is an Atkins recipe. It's suitable for phase one even. Um, it's a no-bake treat other than you do need the oven for about five minutes just to toast the coconut. Okay, so I've got the ingredients assembled here. You're going to need one quarter cup of heavy cream, uh, which is also known as pure cream in Australia, about two tablespoons of unsalted butter, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, make sure that's unsweetened, uh, then the recipe calls for two tablespoons of xylitol with just a pinch of stevia added. I've got a stevia blend sweetener here, so I'm just going to use two tablespoons of that. One sixteenth teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of natural peanut butter. Now they suggest creamy, but I've got crunchy on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. And then lastly, two cups of unsweetened flaked coconut. And again, I'm doing a substitution. I just happen to have shredded coconut on hand, which is also unsweetened, so I'm going to use that. Just to start, now we'll preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. So I've got a small saucepan on medium-high heat. And we're going to combine the cream, and then the butter, the cocoa powder, the sweetener, and the salt. I'm just going to stir this to combine, and we want to bring that to a gentle boil. You can see the butter's all melted in there. It hasn't quite come to a boil yet, but it shouldn't be long. Keep your eye on it and stir it constantly if you need to. And there you can see it's just come to the boil, so I'm going to remove it from the heat and then we're going to stir in the peanut butter. And now just stir that in to incorporate it. So I've measured out the two cups of the coconut and I'm just going to pop that in our preheated oven and keep an eye on it. It shouldn't need more than five minutes, you just want it lightly toasted. So there it is after five minutes and you can see it's nicely toasted. So now we're just going to add our toasted coconut into our chocolate. I might try doing just a small amount at a time. And you want to fold it through to get everything coated. You can see it's very well combined there. So now we just want to take about a tablespoon at a time and just create little mounds. You're meant to end up with about 18. And you might need to just give them a little squish to keep them together. They'll stay together once it's hardened again, but right now while it's loose you might need to give it a little squeeze. So there they are all rolled, and don't worry about getting them too perfect. They should be a little rustic. They're meant to look like little haystacks. You're meant to get 18 of them. I've got 16, but I really don't feel like re-rolling them all to get 18 out of it, so I'm going to go with that. Now all you need to do is let those harden. You can leave them on the counter until they're hardened again, or you can put them in the fridge if you want to speed it up. So there you have it, chocolate peanut butter haystacks. Remember these are Atkins friendly for phase one even. One would be a serving.